there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. What a day. We just had our Apple keynote event. It was, I think it was, it was well done. And if I could give this thing a, a grade, I'd probably give it a B, B plus. It was a, it was a good keynote event, but we're going to talk about the jailbreak scene and what's been going on with Uncovered Jailbreak and with Ponda Own. Now, right as the Apple event was happening and everything was about to get started he released beta 47 of the jailbreak just by surprise and i'm like wow this guy is doing this right as the event's happening how crazy and then probably about like halfway through the event he ended up releasing beta 48 so we're launching up twitter i'm going to show you guys just the change log of what's going on with the uncovered jailbreak now again there were two updates for the price of one day so let's go ahead there's a lot to uncover let's go ahead and uncover this uncovered jailbreak so <laughs> navigating all the way down, I'm going to actually leave the link for his website in the description down below. So if you do want to check out the change log in full detail, I'm going to go ahead and leave that in the description for you guys. And then also there's a couple of key facts that I also want to leave in the description. So make sure you guys do check those things out. Currently, we are on beta 48 of the jailbreak and beta 47 allowed SSH access to our iDevices. So with the uncovered jailbreak, what that means is... is that Cydia, first of all, SSH does not mean Cydia or Substrate is going to be installed onto your iDevice. And it also, I'm going to leave pretty much his step by step of what SSH means and the different descriptions of what updates that have been going on. I'm going to leave that in the description down below. But what this is pretty much for the average user is that currently this is still not a, a fully semi untethered jailbreak. This is still a partial jailbreak. Pretty much in the, the long story short, these are a lot of bug fixes that will help your device run the jailbreak faster or run the jailbreak more effectively. So what happens if you are currently in the jailbreak state at the moment, like I am, I currently have the Uncovered Jailbreak app. I actually have beta 46 on my iDevice. And what happens if you're currently jailbroken and you wanna to update to beta 48? Well, let me go ahead and show you guys that I am currently jailbroken. And if I wasn't, it would say not, it wouldn't say re jailbreak. It would just say jailbreak. So the application shows that I am currently jailbroken and that we're using beta 46 of the uncovered jailbreak. Well, for those people and for those devices that are A12 devices and below that want to update their uncovered jailbreak to beta 48, here's what you're going to do. Delete first and foremost, the uncovered beta 46 jailbreak application from your device. Next, we're going to power down our devices. So once we reboot our devices, that voids the jailbreak in entirety. So you won't have to worry about doing anything special. It's just a matter of rebooting that gets your device completely and fully, uh, you know, it removes the jailbreak fully from your device. So if you are jailbroken and say we get Cydia, we get tweaks and we get, you know, all the, the nice little gimmicks on our phones that we can put on there. If ever you want to get rid of those things and just go back to your normal simple mode, just reboot your device and that will restart, you know, that will re, that will actually get rid of the jailbreak in entirety. And then if you need to, just relaunch the, applic the application again and then re-jailbreak. So we're gonna go ahead and restart our device. So we're gonna let this thing load. And here we go. Okay, so we're back at our home menu. Let me go ahead and punch in my passcode real quick. All right, there we go. Now we're back home. And currently we are not in a jailbroken state. We are just in a normal state. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our jailbreak on. So let's go ahead and navigate into Ignition. Ignition has been one of the third enterprise party applications that have been uh, very up to date with the with the jailbreak with the uncovered jailbreak and I use them a lot but know that Tweakbox at Valley they do also have the jailbreak as well too but Ignition seems to just kind of be on the ball and they really do update their application right when Ponda Own is releasing his so make sure that you navigate over to the jailbreak section and you want to download the new beta jailbreak so make sure that you navigate over to the new beta jailbreak. This is going to be the one that has the A12, that's going to have support for A12 devices. And this is going to be the one that has the most up-to-date version of the jailbreak. So you can see at the very bottom below here under version, we are at beta 48. So we're going to hit that blue get button. And then we're going to go ahead and hit the install button from there. And then we're going to go ahead and let that guy load. And then it's a pretty fast load. So right when you load the jailbreak and you launch it, you'll notice that it says jailbreak currently at the moment. And at the very top, it shows that we're on beta 48. So we're gonna go ahead and jailbreak and initiate this guy. 
and then like in my previous videos, there were some videos that I, I posted out where I, or one video that I posted out where I had to do this about four or five times. I had to reboot, I had to respring and restart. Let's go ahead and check to see if we need to do any of that. It should just be a one take sort of situation. And there you go, there you guys have it. It's just the one chance, the one shot just to get the jailbreak onto your device. So the jailbreak is completed. This currently enables app revoke. So make sure that you are aware that this is still a partial jailbreak. It still enables app revokes at the time, at this time right now. But as you can see here, there, I haven't, I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't seen any sort of app revokes on my device as of lately and we're just gonna go ahead and hit the okay button but like as for youtube plus plus and inds i haven't checked i haven't really seen any of those applications get revoked so i'm really curious to see how this runs later on in the future but there is currently as i've said before just because we have ssh enabled we do not have cydia nor do we have substrate on our devices and so what i'm going to do i'm going to pull up twitter one more time and i'm going to actually navigate over back into his homepage and just check out and show you guys the changelog one more time that way you guys can see what's going on and make sure that you guys understand what this jailbreak currently does mean so again as we scroll all the way down to, to the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this whole section of what SSH means and the different types of updates that have been made to this jailbreak, so this partial jailbreak. So if you are looking to get, again, mobile substrate or get Cydia onto your devices, this will not do it. This is just adding more layers, just adding just more security so when the final jailbreak does come out, we do have something a little bit more solid and we will have substrate and mo and Cydia on our devices. But if you guys did like this video, if you guys like this tutorial, please Please like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos on all things Apple Plus, and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace.